First thing I just want to say is uh, there's like a definite impression in the carpet where all the people have been standing, and that just stood out to me a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just want to start off my paper by saying that my paper started out as more of a rant on something that annoyed me than a paper itself. And so uh, then uh, as soon as we got our Chromebooks to research, I realized two things. First of all, I should really start using facts. Second of all, I like having a social life. Uh, so my talk's on humor. Uh, and wait, uh, you did humor too, right? Uh, did you have a hard time getting like information, like reliable sources? Oh, well, he was lucky because he, uh, though our talks were both kind of on humor, uh, mine is more on what is humor. His was like, how does it affect our lives? And on for mine, I found six articles that were actually reliable, five in English. Uh, and so uh, for those of you expecting this to be a hilarious t talk, it's really not, so prepare for a disappointment. Raxon, I can see you smiling. <laughs> okay, and so, uh, so even though there were only very li like there were very little sources, uh, one of the one of the articles I found, I really uh, I had a quote that I really liked because it kind of changed my entire perspective on my paper. The quote is, "Our sense of humor is modeled by what our social group defines as funny," and so uh, our social group would just be our friends and family, right? You know for its time, which is like 20 years ago, it would be correct. But then again, we've got all these introductions of social medias and Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and the one I'm mainly going to be focusing on is YouTube. Uh, because like then our social group grows a lot. And so on YouTube, you've got these huge like people that are known by like millions of people. Uh, and they grow and like their channels grow a ton. And that's partially because, you know, with more people like that see your videos, uh, they're going to talk about it. And that's also because uh, another thing is uh, like when people see their videos and like how many people like have subscribed to them, it's like, well, all these other people think that they're funny. Like, I kind of want to do that, think they're funny, because I don't want to be the weird kid. And going into that is, so why, why do, like, how does popularity and social status influence humor? So, okay, we're gonna have two examples. We're gonna have a guy named Billy and a guy named Timmy. Timmy, he's a popular guy. He's cool and, as previously mentioned, popular. Uh, he, so he walks into class, the, teacher, uh, the bell rings, the teacher tells him to sit down. Billy goes, so what? Or, or what? <laughs> People laugh because, uh, you know, that's how it works. Then you got Billy, who's less popular. He's kind of the nobody, the nerd, or the geek. He walks into class, the bell rings, the teacher tells him to sit down. He goes, or what? People are going to be like, what the crap is he doing? People aren't going to laugh because, you know, it's like, oh, I don't really want to kind of have to associate with that person. I don't want people to think that, you know, like, I'm not cool. People, we care so much about what others think about us. Ugh. And so, but that's not right. I mean, social status shouldn't depend on, like, whether, like, social, social, your social status shouldn't, like, measure how funny you are. It's like, social status shouldn't exist. Humor should be solely based on humor itself. Thank you.